Teacher Neff Explains channel, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment. Now that you already know how to solve rational equations, you will learn how to solve rational inequalities next in this lesson. So let's have these examples. We have 4 all over x minus 2 is greater than negative 2. First thing to do in solving rational inequality is to rewrite the inequality to the form p of x over q of x is greater than 0. Notice that there are two conditions that should be satisfied in solving rational inequality. That is, first, there should be one rational expression only on the left side. And second, only 0 on the right side. Take note, however, that the inequality symbol depends on the given rational inequality. So, so going back to the given, in order to satisfy one of the two conditions that what must be left on, the, on one side of the inequality is 0 only, then we have to move this negative 2 to the other side. Okay? So what will happen is 4 all over x minus 2 plus 2 is greater than 0. Now, we have to combine 4 all over x minus 2 with 2. We all know that the denominator of 2 is 1. And in order to combine them, or in adding the similar fractions, we get their LCD. Now look at their denominators. They are both non-factorable anymore. Hence, the LCD is simply their product, and that's x minus 2. Now, after getting the LCD, we may now rewrite those two terms as one fraction with the denominator x minus 2. And since the given first term has the same denominator as the LCD, then we will just copy its numerator form. How about for the second term? We have to divide the LCD by its denominator, and the quotient is x minus 2. Quotient x minus 2 will be multiplied by the numerator. Okay? Hence, the second term will become positive 2 times x minus 2. Okay. Actually, they are now considered as one term since they only have one denominator and their common denominator is their LCD x minus 2. Now, let us simplify. Let's distribute 2 to x and to negative 2. So, let's rewrite 4 plus 2x minus 4 all over x minus 2 is greater than 0. Now, we have to combine um, like terms in the numerator, which are 4 and negative 4. And 4 neg minus 4 is 0. So, what's left on the numerator is 2x only. And the denominator is x minus 2. It's greater than 0. Now, we already have satisfied um, the other condition that one side of the rational inequality should be expressed as one rational expression only in the form p of x over q of x. Okay? Our p of x is 2x and our q of x is x minus 2. Now, after satisfying the two conditions, the next step is to equate both the numerator and denominator to zero. So, what's the purpose? To get the critical values of the solution set. So, let us equate them both to zero. So, we have 2x equals zero and x minus 2 equals zero. Okay? So, again, the purpose is to get the critical values of the solution set. Now, for 2x equals zero, by MPE, we may multi multiply both sides by one half. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So what's left is 1x or simply x equals 0 divided by any number is 0. So we have x equals 0 as one of the two critical values of the solution of the solution. Or of the solution set. Now for x minus 2 equals 0, by APE we have x equals 2. So the other critical value is x equals 2 or 2. Now Check whether each of the critical values is part of the solution set or not. So, how do we check? We have to substitute each of the each to the given inequality for all over x minus 2 is greater than negative 2. Okay, let's substitute now. First, 
let us substitute 0 to x of the given inequality. So we have 4 over 0 minus 2. Is, is it greater than negative 2? So 4 over 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Now is it greater than negative 2? 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. And it's not greater than negative 2. It's not greater than negative 2 since negative 2 should be equal to negative 2, should be equal to itself. Hence, x equals 0 is not included in the solution. Next, let us check whether x equals 2 will satisfy the inequality. So, let us substitute 2 to x of the given inequality. So, we have 2 minus 2. 4 over 2 minus 2 is it greater than negative 2. So, 4 over 0. Is it greater than negative 2? It cannot be. So, it cannot be since the denominator is 0. Hence, x equals 2 is also not a solution to the given inequality. Now, to visualize it, let's put it on a number line. Okay? So, so we have x equals 0 and x equals 2 as the critical values. Now, we will write 0 to the left of 2 since it's less than 2. Okay. Next, since they are both not solutions to, to the inequality, then we'll put open circles for each of them to indicate that they are not solutions. Next step is to divide the number line into intervals. Now, we have three intervals here. First interval is this one. And this is indicated by negative infinity to 0 and then close parenthesis. Why is it close parenthesis? Since 0 is not included. Had it been included, then we will put close bracket. But since we have an open circle for 0, since it's not, an, it's not a solution, then therefore we use open parenthesis. Now how about for negative infinity? Why is it open parenthesis? Because... Um, it doesn't have a fixed number in bo being involved. Hence, it's open parenthesis. It's negative infinity. Okay? Second interval includes all real numbers from 0 to 2, excluding 0 and 2. That is why we have open and close parenthesis. Both 0 and 2 are excluded. They are not included since they are open circles. Okay? And then, how about the third interval? How do we name it? We have open parenthesis 2, since 2 is not included, until positive infinity. Okay? It's not fixed. Until positive infinity. So, oh, close parenthesis. Now, we have to choose a test value for each interval. Now, suppose we choose... Now, suppose we choose for this interval, suppose we choose x value or x equals x equals negative 1 okay negative 1 can be a value of this interval since negative 1 is between negative infinity to 0 how about for this interval um suppose we choose x equals 1 it's between 0 and 2 and for the last interval suppose we choose 3 x equals 3 since it's greater than 2 but less than positive infinity now, let us test each of these values. So, these are the test values. Now, for x equals negative 1. So, the given inequality will become 4 over negative 1 minus 2. Is, great, is it greater than negative 2? Okay, let's check. 4 over negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Is it greater than negative 2? 4 over negative 3 is equal to negative 1 and 1 third. Now, since negative 1 and 1 third is on the right of negative 2, then therefore, it is really greater than negative 2. Hence, the interval negative infinity to 0, this interval is a solution to the inequality. Okay? So let's put a check mark for this. 
So this is a solution. This is a solution. This interval. How about the test value, which is x equals 1 for the second interval? Let's test. So let's substitute 1 to x of the given inequality. 1 minus 2. 4 over 1 minus 2. Is it greater than negative 2? Okay. So we have 4 all over 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Is it greater than negative 2? 4 divided by negative 1 is negative. It's negative 4. It's negative 4. And it is not greater than negative 2. It's wrong. Therefore, this second interval is not a solution to the given inequality. It's not a solution. Okay? How about the, le the, the last interval? And the test value is x equals 3. So let's check. 4 over 3 minus 2 is greater than negative 2. So we have 4 all over. Is it it or is it greater than? Let's put a check question mark. So 4 over 3 minus 2 is 1. Is it greater than negative 2? 4 divided by 1 is 4. Is it greater than negative 2? Of course. A positive, all positive integers are greater than all negative integers. Therefore, the last interval is also a solution to the given inequality. So, on the number line, since, since these two intervals are solutions, we will shade them. Okay? So, we will shade this part. This interval, since it's a solution, same with this part, since it's a solution. Okay, that's how we graph. How, that's how we graph them on, on a number line. Now, therefore, the solution set is. This is the solution set. The solution set, using interval notation, is the union of the intervals negative infinity to 0 excluding 0 union of that interval and of from 2 excluding 2 to positive infinity okay so this is the solution set to the given rational inequality so hope you have learned how to solve rational inequalities until next time